Hey guys, so I probably should have done this video first on my channel, but better late than never, I guess. So first off, my name is Lillian Chana and I do animated book reviews. I'm still new to learning animation and doing book reviews in general, but I figured I like reading and starting a YouTube channel will be a cool way to connect with others that like to read the same books that I do. I'm going to do the booktube newbie tag today, even though this is my third video. Already off to a great start. First question, why did you start this channel? I started this channel mainly because I have no life, and also I love to draw and read books, so why not do both? I also thought that starting a booktube channel would be a cool way to meet other people that are reading the same things as me, as well as get recommendations to read other cool books that I might not normally choose to read IRL. A lot of the books I read are mainly recommendations from the two friends in my social circle that actually still read, and I think joining booktube and starting this channel would expose me to genres and books that would surprise me. So feel free to recommend me any of your favorite books. Second question, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? This question kind of reminds me of when you're being interviewed to find out what value you would add to a company. Hopefully people watch my videos to hear me rant passionately about why Brandon Sanderson is a god and slash or why you should read a particular YA book. Side note, I'm currently in the middle of reading Leia Bardugo's Grishaver series, so I expect a review of that at some point. I want my channel to be a fun place to visit, to hear a review on one of your favorite books, and hopefully laugh at my animations. One of the benefits of animating is that you will never see my face, which is my gift to you. But I also hope people watch my videos for the intrigue. Who is Lillian Chana? Is she actually just some girl in her mid-twenties who reads books for fun? Is she secretly Beyonce moonlighting as a booktuber, dropping videos every one to two weeks? Perhaps she's not human at all, but rather a hundred-year-old cleric tiefling protecting the world one dungeon at a time, but reading YA books along her journey. What is her ethnicity, her background, her age? Who is she? Well, the answer to that question is, third question, what are you most excited for about this new channel? Meeting new people, reading more books, drawing more stuff, and hopefully making people laugh. This channel also gives me a valid excuse to just stay at home and read books, which is completely fine by me. I also just found out that you could include GIFs in these videos, so expect a lot more of that feature. Look at the cute animals! Fourth question, why do you love reading? Everyone says that reading is great because of the escapism aspect, which is true. Who doesn't like pretending they're secretly a chosen one, TM, who is about to be plucked from the mediocrity of normal life and set out to return a lightning bolt to Olympus, or walk into Mordor, or find out you're a wizard? <coughs> Maybe not that last one. Most importantly, I love that new book smell. Fifth question, what book or series got you into reading? Okay, so this question has a couple answers because I jumped genre to genre as a kid. The first series I loved and was obsessed with was the Magic Treehouse series. After I outgrew that series, which I loved, the next series I started was the Warrior Cat series. After that was the Percy Jackson series, then a Twilight phase, then a Brandon Sanderson phase, and I'm still stuck at that phase. A couple of standout books in my life include the Harry Potter series, the Bone comics, and the Ariel the Little Mermaid illustrated book by Disney, which was actually the first book that my mom read to me. Sixth question, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Yeah, so to start off, I guess I would ask, how? And how? TBH, I'm still baffled when anyone decides to watch my videos. I think I would ask, how do you structure your time to read books and also create original content, and have a life on top of that? Seventh question, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Honestly, I think the hardest challenge is just starting the channel, like just going for it. But also, I think it's going to be kind of hard for me to find out where I fit in this community and what my channel is going to be like or represent. Right now, my channel is kind of like when you're in a car, but, oh wait, the car's moving. And you're not even in the driver's seat, you're in the back, no rapidly rolling downhill, and there's no steering wheel, and the brakes aren't working, and it's too late to escape, so you just accept the current situation and don't know what your destination or your end result will be, but you're here for the ride anyways. Eighth question, when did you start reading? I started reading when I was five, maybe? I don't know. That's the normal time that humans begin reading on their own, right? I mainly got into YA books in middle and high school, though. I stopped reading in college because I just did not have the time. Well, I did, but I chose to prioritize Netflix over reading for fun. I picked up reading again after I got a job and had all this free time after work. You don't have free time, you just have no life. Did I ask? Ninth question, where do you read? 
I read mainly at home or sometimes on long trips on planes and stuff, but those are for books that I'm okay with reading publicly. More often than not, you can find me reading under the covers of my bed where I can burrito myself and just binge read a book. I'm really bad at reading books in sections and usually just manically binge read after I have a long chunk of free time. Tenth question, what kind of books do you like to read? I like to read mainly fantasy books with lots of dragons, magic, and clever characters that are multifaceted, and with women that are strong female characters without just being strong and female. I also read comics, a lot of contemporary stuff if it's good, and I can tolerate the characters, and will read some romance, again, if I can tolerate the characters. I have a tendency to stop reading books where the characters are just unrealistic, like a girl who likes a guy even after he's a jerk to her, or when a guy basically follows a girl around everywhere, and the girl still likes him even though he was essentially stalking her. Also, I guarantee that if someone right now found out they had superpowers, they would not question their inability to fit in for one moment. I always never understood reading about that in books. A girl gets superpowers and she's upset that she's not going to fit in, or, even worse, the guy she likes won't like her because he's going to think that she's a freak. Like, girl, you just got the ability to read minds. Do you know how much money you could make if you went to Las Vegas? Drop the guy. We're gonna be millionaires. Anyways, I think that's all the questions. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's any other book that you want me to review. Until the next video, bye guys!